तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदाबन मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु विवच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोतिचालंगतगिरी यत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदावय तुलसीदेव्य पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो धीरे संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोधर धेय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरंजनुत शरण्यम भेतातिहम पनुतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरश ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनीछटाया विस्फुरजीतक गोवधूष्वदर्श पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा कृपा कौश श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितरो कमलायुताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणापारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदी तो दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दीत भावाण सदा नरान गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वरानसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजस् वक्षसी जैसे हृदय संबीत निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे
हरे निष्किचन से भगवद भजन उन्मुख्य पारों पारों जीग मीश भव सागर से संदर्शन विषयनम अथो वशित जशित नंच हा हंत हा हंत विष भक्षणत्व व्यसाद निष्किचन से भगवद भजन उन्मुख्य पारं पारं जीग मीश भव सागर से संदर्शन विषयनम अथो जशित नंच हा हंत हा हंत विष भक्षणत्व अभी असाधु गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉ भोपाल परमंश जगदगुरु सेठ दे गौरियस वी ऑलवेज बिलीव हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ इन एकायन पंथा वी गौरियस ऑलवेज हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ इन एकायन पंथा एकायन पंथा वी डोंट बिलीव बहुवायन पंथा I mean everything we are getting through our successive guru parampara, south of Antha. We are getting everything through our exact south of Antha, successive. There is not even slightest deviation. That is why the utility of south of Antha parampara is, you know. We are failing still today. South Pantha, Akayan Pantha mean all our individual efforts, everything, all our resources, whatever education and qualification, whatever technical can, whatever we have, that all should be channelized through one channel. Not that you can start one channel. He can start one channel, all. So all and everything should be channelized through one particular authentic channel. Nobody allowed to do anything fancifully. Nobody allowed. Mahaprabhu never approved. This is called ekayan pantha. Ekayan mean it is Sanskrit word. It can mean one single, unique and absolute way. Ekayan. It can mean all coming and make it one through one channel. That's why yesterday or maybe day before yesterday, I told our Guru Bargo never demand any personal deserve any personal. I know. No honor, position, nothing. They never deserve any credit for whatever facilities they have. Whatever specialty they have, very big, big specialty. Whatever specialty they have, they never used to think that I am responsible for this teaching. I have done this. I am done this. Who can do? Never do. Because they used to. Believe that everything coming through one channel through kipa. Who am I? Like me, so many cats and dog can be there in the society. Who man care? Without south pantha, nothing can come out successful. All in bhajan line, all through south pantha. That's why they used to attribute all the capacity, all the power, to the original source. They used to attribute all. I am doing this nicely, successful. Okay, all they used to attribute to the, oh, from original source. Original source. This way, Prabhupada used to say, we all Gauriyas always depend and believe in. Ekayan pantha, we never believe in Bahuvayan pantha. You can run this way, I can run this way. Okay, we can identify as Gauranga devotee. Oh, we can identify. I am also doing, you are also doing. Yes, not that. All one, single way. You have no right to take any Pratishtha. I have no right to take any Pratishtha. No Pratishtha. 
if you are going to drink, you are going to take Patishta, be sure you are drinking Kalkut Bish, the topmost poison in the world. I told you yesterday, what Shankar Bhagavan can drink poison. But you one drop, one drop you cannot take. Naitat samachare jatu manosapihi aniswaraha binasati acharan maudrat jatha ruddha adhijam visam. So nobody allowed to run fancifully. Naitat samachare. Shankar Bhagavan dhan. Shankar Bhagavan dhan. Iswaraha, Iswaraha Bachanam Satyam, Tathai Bacharatyam Kachit. Shukdev Goswami giving, someday I can discuss this. Iswaraha Bachanam, sat, bachanam Satyam, Tathai Bacharatyam Kachit. What Ishwar, I mean Sankar Bhagavan, Ishwar, Ishwar means Ishwar given power by Bhagavan. And para, what to speak about Parameshwar? Parameshwar the Supreme. Parameshwar the Supreme. You can drink fire, give fire. You can drink fire. Bhagavan not eating anything. Bhagavan not drinking anything. You cannot believe. About him? No, nothing. Even what to speak about Bhagavan? Durvasa Muni speaking, I am not eating anything. I am not eating. You are not eating. You have taken so much prasadam, lot of prasadam, you say, no. How you say you are not present? This you cannot find answer. I mean, one day, one day, Gopika is asking to Krishna, well, we like to go to uh, that side of Jamuna River to serve Durvasa Muni. But how to go? A big, there's no such, so many Gopikas. How we can go? With all prasadam in plate, everything, Durvasa Muni coming that side of river. Krishna speaking, okay, you can do one thing. You can go uh, just uh, at the bank of Jamuna and speak. If Krishna is the topmost Brahmachari in the infinity world, then you give place, give us way so that we can go. Gopika is laughing. You are Brahmachari? Yes. Topmost. You don't know. It is written. Even in Rasalila it is written. You are not going to follow any Shastra through any authentic sources. Maybe for this reason, most of the people there, they don't understand. So it is written, Atmani Avaruddha Saurataha. Shukdev Goswami writing, Shukdev Goswami writing, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna was playing with all Gopika, hundred Karos Gopikas, then it is written, Atmani Avaruddha Saurataha with full capacity, going to control himself. Where is Supreme Lord? Nothing going to touch him. Nothing going to touch him. Nothing. As if indifferent. And then, he is going to fulfill the desire of Gopikas. That's why in Brahma Sangeeta it is written, Bhagavan not playing with any woman. Bhagavan playing with himself. Ananda chinmaya raso pratibhavi tabhi tabhi raja eva nijarupattaya kalabhi Bhagavan playing with own sarup shakti. Own shakti. No question of any material karma. No question, no smell. No smell. But people are so contaminated. Only consider one point. Only one point. So, Shankar Bhagavan drinking poison. But even one, one drop, I cannot say. Little bit, touch, you can die. So what they can do, we cannot imitate. Imitation is totally prohibited. What they can do, they can do. What they are, Sankar Bhagavan giving instruction to us, we have to obey. Like Pracheta, many places in Bhagavatam, all Sastra. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, this way you do, that we can follow. Iswaraha, Iswaranam vachaha satyam, tathiva acharitam prachit. So why Krishna Bhagavan speaking that you go that side of the river this way, and they 
approaching Jamuna and speaking, and Jamuna giving way. They are looking at each other. Yes. They go, Krishna is the topmost Brahmaji. No touching. No, nothing touching Krishna. Nothing going to touch Krishna. After that, they are going to give, paying pranam to Durvasa. Well, we are coming to serve you. Durvasa not eating anything. Durvasa only, only grass, you know, grass. Grass, you know. Grass, grass, grass juice. Grass. Grass juice. Only grass juice. Durvasa. And grass juice, if you take, you can also rectify your liver, everything. Very nice. Grass juice. A small dupa, a paste and make juice, many medicine. Anyway, Durvasa, name of Durvasa is Durvasa for this reason. Durvasa, well, what do you want? Well, I bring, we bring for you. Durvasa, okay, what do you bring? Yeah. They are all eating, all eating Durvasa. Very quickly, everything, all, anything more. After that, they are asking Durvasa, we came this way. But now we'll have to go back to Vrindavan, we'll cross the river. So how we can cross? Durvasa speaking, you can go to Jamuna and speak. If Durvasa Muni has taken nothing, eat, eaten nothing, then you give way. Huh? You have taken so much thing and you are thinking not taking it. And you go. Jamuna, they are requesting. If Durvasa has taken nothing, then you give it. Jamuna giving way. We cannot understand with this brain. With this kind of material brain, we cannot many any harmony. All big problem. So any fighting moves, any fighting mood is not at all expected. Any doubt, suspicion, nothing. Logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth. Why, who, how, is question not allowed. All Krishna. Bhagavan Sri Krishna told, na, everything I am. This world I am, world came, the source I am, world, world being, everything I am. Yatru, yeno, yatu, yasu, yasmai, yad, yad, yatha, yada. All I am. All karak, karak, you know, case ending. Who, why, how, where from. All a uh, grammar, English grammar also. All Krishna. Nothing. All Krishna. So, Krishna playing with some woman, this conception is so dirty that it can take you to hell. It's not good. That's why Prabhupada never used to allow anybody, hey, don't touch Bhagavatam. Don't know. Especially Tan Kondo, no. You can misunderstand, go to hell. Like conception. Very cheap conception they can. So Sautapantha mean Prabhupada wanted to no Acharya. No Acharya up to now. Not even Ramanacharya, Madhacharya, Vishnu Sami, Bhaskaracharya, Nimbarko Charjo, nobody spoke or wrote this so much analytical. I am not speaking they are great. I am not one user, they are big. But so energy guy pointing out, open your eyes, see the truth. This way nobody. This way never nobody told. Only Prabhupada. Forcefully opening the eyes and see the truth. They done, they have given so much Siddhant, okay, very good. They are not ordinary. But Prabhupada is coming from Radharani. Don't forget. And Simati Radharani can understand what, what, what Krishna can like and cannot like. How to satisfy Krishna the best possible way, Radharani can give satisfaction to Krishna. That's why Simati Radharani in our Gauriya Mat, Gauriya Society, Gauriya Bhajan, under the Gairam Gauranga Mahapu is more practical. Because anyway we need Nanda Nandan Krishna. Nanda Nanda Krishna Hapu. So that's why we are so lucky, so lucky 
even any amount of philosophy is not sufficient to establish this fact. We are so lucky that we are under the guidance of Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Prabhupada. But still we are unlucky because we are developing politics, developing disparity. Hey, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. Why? Why I cannot go? Why I cannot go to Prabhupada? Why I cannot go to Siddhar Goswami Maharaj? You will have to speak the reason, na? Only like a, like a dictator. Huh? You can do, don't go, don't go. Why? You have to speak the reason. Why I can, why I cannot, why you are not allowed to go to Prabhupada, Bhakti Mahir, Thakur or those who are speaking about Prabhupada, Bhakti Mahir, why I cannot go? Why you become angry? Why you are expressing jealousy? Why? What car? He's not going to get any money, position, nothing. Only they are going to represent, represent Prabhupada Bhakti Muttak. Common sense all lost. The whole world, in the, we are very intelligent. All common sense they are lost. Even common sense they don't. Common sense don't. They lost everything. What to speak about Dibbo Gyan, Kando Gyan. Common sense not there. So this way we see, Prabhupada always used to say, we are Ekoyan Pontha, we don't accept anybody, those who are going to show their own capacity. Try to understand. Like mathematics I can prove in front of lakhs of people. In blackboard I can prove, like mathematics. Nobody can go against me. Nobody can go. If they go, they can get lost. Because I am not making any concocted fellows. I am taking the fact from here, speak all documents. What, the, what they can do by fighting? So, Prabhupada used to say, we don't accept them. Be careful, you can preach it in front of public. And that first, you in the, in the, when you are starting now, see Siddhanta Saraswati, that, that picture, very massive way, you can preach everywhere. So that people can know. Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. We it is our duty. It is our duty to let people know the fact. So this way we'll have to do it. Very, very massive preaching we need. So this way, actually, Prabhupada never used to accept anybody, those who are going to express their own capacity, those who like to project themselves. Prabhupada used to go. Go away. Get out. Prabhupada never is true. This way, Prabhupada wanted to confirm the way of Sauta Pantha, Ekayan Pantha. All our capacity, whatever Bhagavan, by the mercy of Bhagavan, we have, by the mercy of Prabhupada, we like to throw everything to Prabhupada. You channelize it to the public. This is called Anugatha. This is called anuga, actual anugatha. Actual anugatha you don't know. Actual anugatha you don't know. The day you can know, maybe no time can be there in your life or in my life. So nice. When you can do anugatha, na, you can fly in the sky of prema. Yes. When you can do Actual Anugatha, you can find a wetless of flying in the sky. So Ananda. But actually we are not doing Anugatha. That's why that kind of transcendental bliss we are not getting. That's why you are not getting. Exactly. Getting something, but not that kind of. In Kirtan, Bhakti Mantra writing, but nobody understands Kirtan. Nobody doing kirtan. Every one, many body doing kirtan, but they don't understand. And most of the people don't doing this kirtan. Atmo nivedan tuva pade kori hoi nu paramo shukhi dukho dure gelo chinta naro hilo chodi ke anando heri. All around one Anugata devotee you can find all transcendental bliss all around. Vishampurana Sukhayate. 
that day, five days ago, I told. Visham Purna Sukhayati. Jat Koruna Kataksha Vaiva Vatam. Tam Gaura Mevastamu. That Gauranga, we like to pray. By the mercy of Gauranga, we find all, all where transcendental bliss. Excellent. Paramahansa Avastha. So, Ekayan Pantha, Sauta Pantha, so important. Even we are deviated by 0 0.00001 millimeter, like that. We can ultimately get deviated from the track. Hello. You don't understand. You know mathematics, no? So, two straight line, two straight line. A slight 0 0.001 deviation. Two straight line, almost submerged with each other. But no disparity, all parallel, almost. Eh? In, in naked eyes, you can see all parallel. But slight 0 0.001 millimeter, 0 0.0001 millimeter deviation. At present, it is not, it is parallel. No parallel, no parallel it is. But when the two straight line, you can increase towards infinity. If you go on increasing the straight line towards infinity, then ultimately, ultimately you can find the big disparity. Follow. If you have basic conception about mathematics, two straight line almost same. But if you go on extending this two straight line towards infinity, you can find big deviation. It is going this way, but apparently not this way. So what Popa speaking so scientific, so tested and approved by Bhagavan, that no father can touch even one word. That is called Pahupat, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Tested and approved by Bhagavan. This is called the Pahupat. Who can compare? So, Sautu Pantha, Silo Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Pahupat, used to say Bhakti Vinod Dhara, exactly. Bhakti Vinod Dhara, what Bhakti Vinod Thakur told, he used to follow. Or what Bhakti Vinod Thakur previously, this way, all parampara coming to us. That's why our parampara should be any, should be free of any contamination. But unluckily, full of contamination. It should be free of contamination. No question of any kind. Where from God? Siddhar Goswami speaks from Sim, Keshav Goswami has said, Bhakti Bhavad, all the, Siddhar Goswami, Maharaj, Keshav, Ban Goswami, all same. Totally same. How you develop disparity? Where from you are developing this? I wonder, where from you are developing this kind of disparity, my son, my God, uh, eh? my brother? Where from? You develop this kind of disparity. So, not in South Upanthana. And not in Sautapanta mean your speech, your writing, all absurd and useless, rejected by Gauranga. Maybe foolish world can accept, oh, I can buy, whole world can buy. What it concerned was. Prabhupada many times told, this is not the yardstick, this, this is not the document, this is not the evidence. The whole world is going to subscribe you. I can discuss tomorrow. That doesn't mean whole world going to subscribe it. Maybe the absolute truth is the other way. But all we will go in this way. You can miss everything. Not a matter of joke. Don't take this absolute truth as a joking matter. Accept it, this absolute truth in your life with full sincerity, full power. When I do or die, not that I can do, I don't like, I don't like. I can do it after, no. If this is the golden opportunity, I speak you repeatedly in front of the Bindadevi, spitting in Vasasan. This is the golden opportunity. If you miss, you can miss everything. So much confidence I have. If you miss this chance, you can miss everything. So try to utilize it somehow. Somehow, do or die. I can do or die. But anyway, I need it. Try to feel 
try to feel the necessity. What is absolute truth? This way. So, time to time I can go on discussing, I can come to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, whole Leela. Whole Leela, Gauranga Mahaprabhu never wanted to make any compromise. Whole Leela, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, you can see one, one, one case. Mahaprabhu never wanted to make any compromise with quality and quantity. Quantity, if you get quality, you cannot get. And if you get quality, Mahaprabhu never wanted to make any compromise. Whole life. Any time he is watching any disparity, any adversity, go away. Not this way, tiki way. I am speaking this way. I can come to the point how Vallavacharya was chastised by Mahaprabhu. So big personality. Not a matter of Bullava Charge is a weak personality, so important personality. Wow, huh? Then, anyway, so the sloka I started with, you will have to understand. Yesterday, up to yesterday, I discussed how the exclusive, unique, but still Yukta Vairagya. Bhairagu we don't like. What, what he can do? If Bhairagu is useless, if Bhairagu is useless, what we can do with Bhairagu? If my Bhairagu is going to satisfy Prabhupada, then it is okay. I can come with nice clothes to show that I am. I have no Bhairagu. It's more practical. When I can say alone with coping, all oh, no, nothing in my body. That I am not going to exhibit. But I have to stand and speak Harikatha. For preaching, I to this clothes some devotee giving. Okay, nice. If you take it away, also nice. So, Yukta Vairagya is very important. If you don't understand, you can never. So, Raghunath Das Goswami, his Vairagya is absolute Vairagya. At the same time, Yukta Vairagya, that's why I speak. He is taking only rice, you know, taking from uh, there where pandas are throwing from their chicken rice and with salt is that doesn't mean his bhairagya is not there his bhairagya is normal for him but that i cannot imitate that i cannot imitate sila gaur kishor babaji maharaj used to stay at the bank of ganga dead body coming any dead body is cloth they are going to throw babaji maharaj used to wash in ganga with ganga mud and we should wear it, not asking any cloth from anybody. Follow? It is, it is Yukta Vairagya for him. Whereas Bhakti Minatagar used to stay inside Sananda Sukhatakanja Bhajan Kutir, inside room, in a day, three times only taking some milk and doing bhajan all the time, watching go. So that is Yukta Vairagya for him. You cannot imitate him. It depends upon devotee. Raghunanda Gosai, Yukta Vairagya this. Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking so much nice, nice prasadam. You can watch. Like, oh, why, why this kind of Leela was there? Amok, Amok. Deliverance of Amok. This for the reason. We can, we are all Amok. Well, this kind of rice you are eating so much. We all. That's why it is one kind of magic, one kind of lila, one kind of lila arranged by Bhagavan. Amok can find fault with Gauranga, taking so much wisdom. Oh my God, so much rice. This is one teaching for us. So Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking so much prasadam by the heart rending request. Heart rending request of Advaita Gosai. You have to feel. You have to feel. Sarva Matajaju. To Gorang Mapu never like to take any nice prasadam. Never. But he is bound to take. He is Bhagavan. When he is going to take so much prasadam, sweet rice, this, that, by the request of devotees or Jagannath prasadam arrange, this is Yukta Vairagya for him. 
Be careful. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, it is for Gauranga Mahaprabhu, is Yukta Vairagya, is, is Supreme Lord. But you cannot imitate Gauranga Oh, he used to take, I also take. This is not the system of God. Naitat samachare jatu manasapihi anishwaraha vinasati acharan madrat jatha ruddha adhijam visham. Same case, like Shankar Bhagavan. You can die. So, imi imitation not is the way. So, up to yesterday I was discussing how Raghunath Das Gosai is excellent, nice vairagya, complete dedication unto a lotus feet of Gauranga to serve Radha Krishna. They are serving Gauranga at the same time Radha Krishna. I already told Srila Raghunath Das Gosai was given the Girira Sila, what Mahaprabhu used to keep. Mahaprabhu used to keep in front of, Mahaprabhu used to keep in front of, in a cell, and looking Giriraj and doing Harina and shedding tears. Inside Giriraj, Mahaprabhu used to see Krishna. That Giriraj, now, Mahaprabhu is going to give to Raghunadu. Now you understand. The only property. Gorang Mahapu giving to Raghuna, Raghu, you can take it. And the Gunja Mala. So by given, so our Guru Bhargo speaking, by given, by giving Giriraj Sila, Bhagavan giving Krishna to him. Giriraj is equal to Krishna. By giving Giriraj, Gorang Mahapu giving Krishna to him. At the same time, by giving Gunja Mala, one special seed, Available in Vrindavan, one mala. Mahaprabhu going to give Radharani to him. I mean Radha Govindo, Mahaprabhu giving to him. In the infinity world, Prakito and Aprakito, that is the highest treasure, Sampati, Radha Govindo Charan. Mahaprabhu going to give. Now you see, now you understand what is the position of Raghunath Das Gosai. Now you can feel what is the position, what Nityananda Prabhu already forecast before. Prabhu can give you some personal seva to you. Okay, so we have no time to discuss all in details. Now the problem is there with the king. King Pothabharuddha anyhow like to meet Mahaprabhu. Anyhow, he like to meet Mahaprabhu. But Mahaprabhu, don't like to meet with king or woman, Mataji's neighbor. Mahaprabhu. But what to do? King must see and Mahaprabhu like to deny. This way repeatedly, king, king requesting Sarvam Vartejajyo, Kashi Misro, Rayaramanando, you can request Prabhu. The Prabhu love you, na? If you all request, maybe Prabhu can agree. So, when Raja Pratabruddha and uh, uh, Rai Ramananda all coming together from, because Rai Ramananda coming from Vidyanagar, meeting with King, Vidyanagar, from Vidyanagar coming, Vidyanagar almost in South India, South India, Vijayawada, Vidyanagar. So, from there coming, via Kotok and Kotok king is there, going to meet uh, king and uh, going to say, uh, from today onward, uh, I cannot serve, I cannot serve as a, do the service of governor. I am going to resign. Why, why, why? I like to resign. It is my request to you. You allow me to serve Mahaprabhu Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Oh, really? I like to give resign to you. You can appoint somebody else. I like to go. I my I like to serve uh, rest of my life. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Okay. I can give you full salary. You resign, but still I can give you full salary, whatever you are taking. And you go with peaceful mind, serve that Supreme Lord. Because Sarvamuk, Sarvamvate Jajo, uh, Sarvamvate Jajo already confirmed that he is Supreme Lord. 
So Sarvam, what is his exalted personality? He can never speak like. So I also like to uh, take darshan of his lotus feet. He is requesting Ramananda. Okay, you are going to Nilaj. I am also going. But you can request Mahaprabhu to give darshan to me. Then, Rai Ramananda coming. Sarvamata Jajo, before also, he wanted to approach Mahaprabhu with his request. Prabhu, a Raja, Pratapritro, he said, he liked to take your darshan. Let take darshan of your Lord. Mahaprabhu, what do you mean? What do you mean to say? I am Sanyasi. You are going to engage me in this kind of seva? No, 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 no. I am just speaking. Yeah, he liked to take your darshan. Actually, he is a great devotee. Sarvabhama, you are a knowledgeable personality. This kind of request is authentic request. You think, I am sannyasi. How you can request me to meet with king? King is, it is, it is prohibited in Shastra. In Shastra it is prohibited that a sannyasi must not meet with one king or, you know, Mataji is not with. This kind of thing is prohibited. So, how I can? Then Sarvamata was very afraid. I wanted to send message that I requested him, but still he is not ready. Oh. Then, king crying and speaking. I heard he has appeared in this material world. I have heard that, eh, that he has come in this material world to deliver all bonded souls. Oh, maybe except me. He is going to deliver the whole world, except Patap Ruddho, who is the orest creation in the world. I think so. So he is going to deliver all birds and bees, everybody. He is, no, he is going to take, not to deliver me. Okay. But it is my resolution. But it is my resolution also. If I am not going to take the darshan of the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, be sure I can take sannyas and leave kingship and go away. Raja, speaking in front of Sarvam, if Mahaprabhu at all not going to give darshan, then be sure I can leave kingship, everything I can take, you know, and I can take sannyas and go away. They are afraid everybody. Rai Ramananda speaking and Mahaprabhu going to resp giving uh, special you know, love and respect to Rai Ramananda, Sarvamata Jajyo, Mahaprabhu cannot do. Rai Ramananda speaking. Rai Ramananda very clever. Rai Ramananda not going to speak that uh, you give darshan to Rai Ramananda saying, Prabhu, I have seen extreme love of Ra, Pratap Rudra, many indirect way. Prabhu, I am just wondered to see the extreme love and affection unto your lotus feet of king. Then never I can expect this kind of thing. Many going to speak indirectly, not speaking, you can give darshan. So that the heart of Mahaprabhu becomes a melt and get. Anyway, Nityananda Prabhu, also very clever going to speak. Nithyananda was speaking on behalf of king. Then Mahaprabhu became angry. What do you mean? If you speak any second time, second time if you speak, you cannot find me here in Nilachal. I can go away. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We are not going to... Uh, to do you think? What do you mean? Darshan? Right to, so you all planning to take me to go to Katak eh, and to meet with king? What do you mean? You like to take me all, you have to take me all together and, and jointly we can go to Katak and give darshan of king? No, 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 we never wanted to speak that way. But what do you mean? How I can give darshan? So, second time if you speak, you cannot find me here. Be careful. Nithyananda speaking, he cannot leave actually. Okay, you do one thing. You give your uh, cloth, red cloth, what you are wearing. Bahirvas. At least one Bahirvas you can give. Uh, that you can give. That's not a big problem. 
And that you can keep. If you plan this way, uh, they can get. Okay. Hey, Govindo, you can take from Govindo. So after taking one vahirvas and cloth, packing it and sending to Raja Pratyabhuddha, Prabhu, up to now, up to now, Prabhu is not agreed to give you darshan. But anyway, going to send you cloth and everything nicely. Then Pratyabhuddha is going to embrace the cloth and shedding tears. Very nice. This is also one kind of kipa, this way. So, Sarvam Vartajajo repeatedly speaking, giving consolation to king. Don't be in hurry. Remember, he is Supreme Lord. He is not ordinary sannyasi. He is not ordinary, he is the Supreme Lord. So, Prabhu always like to see the devotional mood of devotee. Nothing else. No property, no position. So your devotional mood, your affection, your love, your dedication unto Mahaprabhu is excellent. So I put challenge in front of you that someday, today or tomorrow, today or tomorrow, or day after tomorrow, somehow Prabhu, Prabhu can give you darshan, I challenge you. So you just don't be in hurry. Prabhu going to follow some rules and regulations for teachings of public. So, so now you arrange how I can. Pothabrodo speaking, we are planning. We are just making a plotting. How to make your arrangement to Prabhu. Pothabrodo, now keeping silence. Okay, you arrange what to do. How to meet? I am waiting. Okay. So devotees are planning. Devotees took decision. Well, Prabhu, this way never can give darshan. All Matajis, they used to go. Mahaprabhu used to love them very much. But still, physically they are not coming in front of Sanya. From long distance. They are taking darshan, cooking with purity. And they are going to offer. That is okay. Nowhere it is written. Hello. All devotees from Navadiv here, they are, they are coming with wife, I mean Shakti, they are coming. But Prabhu was very strict about it. So now devotees, they are planning how to arrange the meeting of king with Mahaprabhu. They are planning. Some of them thinking, this way Mahaprabhu can never give darshan. Well, then how? You can do one thing. When Mahaprabhu dancing in front of Rathayatra, I can discuss about Rathayatra specially when Rupa Goswami comes. Now no night time. I am general discussion about Rathayatra. I can come to the point. Then now during Rathayatra, Mahaprabhu dancing in front of Jagannath, full dancing, whole row, then like human, Human Leela, Mahapu feeling tired and going to lie down in a garden nicely. Eh? In that case, Mahaprabhu not going to inquire who is coming and going. When Mahaprabhu can close his eyes and, and uh, lie down on ground, then Pratavruddha can go in the guise of an ordinary devotee, an ordinary man, ordinary devotee, not in the base of king, but most ordinary. Torn cloth, ah, like that. On the this way, all devotees planning. Mahaprabhu, after Rathayatra is over, Balag, Ma, Rathayatra can go Gundicha Mandir, Jagannath Ballab Uddhan, big garden. Now I'd say building, 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 and building. But big, nice garden, big. Fruits and flowers all around. This way, when Mahaprabhu can go, Mahaprabhu can go, this way Mahaprabhu can go and uh, take rest there, closing eyes. In that time, at that time, you can go. Pathabhrujo was trained, he was giving training. This way you can go. How? Hello, you can go, you can go very humble with you. Humble, not so in king. And after that, you can go on reciting the Gopi Gita. 
jayati te dikam janmana brajo shrayate indira shashadatrahi daita dikshutam dikshutabaka taidhita sabho tvang vichinbate this way you can go you can go on reciting whole bhagavatam that you know gopi gita mahaprabhu is feeling you know now mahaprabhu and can take rest and mahaprabhu very enjoyment because jagannath now coming to vrindavan what is the darshan mahaprabhu coming mahaprabhu and jagannath coming to vrindavan now we are getting jagannath ah, very nice all utsav festival with this mood mahaprabhu there so no angry attitude no anxiety mahabana jagannath is in our kasture at present so now king is trained up is this way you can recite nicely your tone is very good i don't decide king is going and after that when mahaprabhu lying on the bed nobody and all devotees here and there and going to touch the leg very eh eh going to may to message the lake very nicely and jay tithe dikam janmana brajo be very nice he went on singing then mahaprabhu without knowing everything is bhagwan himself knowing everything mahaprabhu suddenly after hearing this message and say who you are going to give me so big treasure to me i am a beggar i am nothing to give i can give you embrace you see I have nothing to be. I am penniless, sannyasi. I am penniless. I have nothing to pay. Who you are? Suddenly coming and giving you amrita. Oh, so nice, big treasure. More kichu dite nai divin you alingon. It is written. Mahaprabhu knowing everything, but still, in such a way so that people, ordinary people, cannot blame. Mahaprabhu going to say, who you are? suddenly coming and give me so amrita you are giving i have nothing to pay i am penniless sanyasi so i can give you amrita this way mahaprabhu giving darshan to pratap rudra raking pratap rudra so happy so happy so happy pratap rudra cannot stand this seeking how much kipa i never expected this kind of kipa to come on my life oh excellent to touch the lotus feet of bhagwan who can touch who can dare to touch the lotus feet of bhagwan nobody but bhagwan giving this this way patabarujjo now onward giving the full kripa of gauranga mahaprabhu and serving gauranga and not only gauranga but also all the devotees of gauranga all devotees those are coming in purushottam dham they are staying taking prasadam all can be eh he is going to solve all any kind of inconvenience going to solve all so kada bruto is my duty i am the servant of gauranga specially why mahaprabhu wanted to give this kind of kipa there is one reason there is one reason if you don't understand this reason only the last part you can know why mahaprabhu was inside very happy because mahaprabhu was very happy because he being a big king wanted to give sweep the road when jagannath coming when jagannath starting rajatha then it is a rule king can go with a boon a golden boon and after that water and chandan water and clean the road he is a king he is a king is a rule a king going and taking the boon and sweep the road clean and giving chandan water by watching this mahapu was very happy oh and, but previously why mahapu wanted to reject somebody can say then why mahapu wanted to reject king first answer is that previously first first when he heard about mahaprabhu he wanted to take some resolution 
I am the king of this country. I am the king of this country. So everybody taking the son of Mahaprabhu, why not? I mess up. This kind of mood was there. I am the king of this country. This kind of mood. Even after hearing, he is supreme. He is singing. Oh, everybody taking darshan. So what wrong in it? I am the king. Forcefully I can take the... This kind of mood was there. Very secretly inside. I am king. After that, by the association of Guru Vaishnava, gradually whatever false ego was residue, all gone. And after watching the seva sweeping the road, then Mahaprabhu become happy. Otherwise, if Mahaprabhu not willing, Mahaprabhu don't want, no father can arrange this. Try to remember, he is Supreme Lord. If Mahaprabhu don't like to do it, no, who can, who can force him? Mahaprabhu himself wanted to give inspiration to Sarvabhamo. Mahaprabhu himself wanted to give inspiration to that, you know, Kasemisra. That this way you arrange king meeting with me. Mahaprabhu himself gave me inspiration. That when I can lie down on the ground, then you can arrange it. That's why the reason that Prabhu was not ready to meet with king in the beginning, but later on, when the king left all false. Being a king, Pratapuruddha was a number one king in whole Bharat that time. All Muslims, all Muslim rules, they used to fear him. So powerful. If he is going to invade one country, nobody can. So powerful. At the same time, great devotee. Pratapuruddha, his Kingdom was up to Kanchipuram or something. Oh, so great. So powerful. Nobody can stand in front of his power. At the same time, so humble. So you see, this way, in the beginning, Mahaprabhu was not ready. Mahaprabhu was not ready. But later on, Mahaprabhu was somehow wanted to give darshan to King Prataparuddha. This way, uh, this problem was solved during Rathay, about Rathayatra, I can speak after, not now. Now I like to touch one very important point here, that punishment of Chato Haridas. This I can try to touch today. There so many things are there, massive, endless. So, Mahaprabhu, took prasadam uh, where? There with Bhagavan Acharya. He took prasadam. Mahapur taking prasadam, everything nice. After taking prasadam, he is super soul inside everywhere. What I am doing, what you are doing, what Mahapur can see everything. Mahapur can see everything, what you are doing, what everybody. Nobody can hide. So Mahaprabhu, after taking prasadam, uh, and uh, pra praising the rice, so nice, fine rice. Where from you are getting this rice? Eh? So nice uh, and a costly rice. Actually, Bhagavan Joseph, actually I sent Choto Haridas to Madhubi Devi Dasi to bring this kind of rice from her. Oh, Mahaprabhu asking, uh, this rice you are uh, getting from uh, Madhavi Devi Dasi, yes. Who, who, who went there? Who went there to bring it? Actually, I already sent Chato Harida, small Hari. Oh, really. Don't speak anything. Don't speak anything in a single word. After taking prasadam, coming to Gambira Mandir. After taking prasadam, Mahaprabhu coming back to Gambira Mandir and giving instruction to Govindo. Govindo, from today onward, my gate is closed for Chattwarita. You announce it. You try to announce it in front of the public. From today onward, the gate, my gate is closed for Chattwarita. He can never get entry here. Be careful. He announce it. The, na the news is spread like wind. But Mahaprabhu is speaking. Oh, everybody become in in you know in a very Anxiety? Why? What happened? What happened? 
Suddenly Prabhu is going to speak this way, Chhoto Mahaprabhu. He is serving Mahaprabhu, singing Kirtan nicely. So why Mahaprabhu taking this? What happened? Everybody coming to Mahaprabhu, but cannot speak. What reply? Prabhu, anything happened? Go, go, go to your own seva. Go. Don't ask. Then when Sarvamata is coming, then Mahaprabhu cannot speak this way. Mahaprabhu only passing one remark. My mind is not under my control. So any Brahmachari, sannyasi going to desire something unusual inside heart, come in Kanchan. I am not going into detail. I don't like to see his face. Follow what I say? My mind is not under my control. I don't like to see their face. Those who, after taking sannyasa or brahmachari, want to get wrong association. Kamini Kanchan. I don't know. Prabhu kahe mor mon nahe mor boss. Prakriti sambhasi. Prakriti sambhasi. Those who like to sambhasa with this guy. I don't like to talk with him. I don't like to see his face. Then the, then the news, then the news was served, then the news was served to Chaturidas. From today onward, it get, your gate is closed to Ma. Why? Why you 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 know and Mahaprabhu know? We don't know. Chaturidas were very sorry. Mahaprabhu not meeting, giving darshan. When Mahaprabhu going to Jagannath Mandir. When Mahaprabhu came to Jagannath Mandir from long distance, Chaturidha was paying pranam, Mahaprabhu looking, not looking at him. Chaturidha is crying heavily. All devotees are going to give consolation. You wait, wait, wait. What is the reason? We don't know. We can try to uh, control the situation. But you should not lose your patience. Prabhu, is Supreme Lord Bhagavan, a reason Bhagavan knowing. And someday Prabhu can give you darshan, but you wait. Don't lose your patience. Choto is okay. Somehow leaving prasadam, water, all very, very slim. Prabhu going to reject me. Prabhu going to reject me. But you know. After that, Chaturidha is waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Whole year gone. Prabhu not speaking anything about Chaturidha. Well, you bring Chaturidha to me, not speaking. Whole year gone. Whole year gone. But still, Mahaprabhu not speaking. You bring Chaturidha, uh, not speaking. Devotees are very, very afraid. After watching the mood of Mahaprabhu, after that, one year gone, Chaturidas took decision, I cannot keep this body anymore. When my Prabhu is going to reject me, when Prabhu is going to reject me, what I can do with this body? What I can do with this body? Also, I cannot commit suicide. Okay, I can do one thing which is not suicide, at the same time, living body, I can balance it. So, Chhoto Haridas, without speaking to anybody, Chhoto Haridas, without taking permission or consulting anybody, Chhoto Haridas gradually gone, gone, walking, walking and gone to Elahabad. You know? Elahabad, Triveni Shangam, the confluence of Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Elahabad, gone. There Mahaprabhu gone. Eh, hey, yeah, Chhoto Rizal gone. And there, he took decision to leave body by thinking the lotus feet of Gauranga. By thinking the lotus feet of Gauranga, he wants to leave body. This is not actually suicide. Because he is not, it is not actually suicide. When somebody is going to think the lotus feet of Bhagavan, going to leave body because of separation from Prabhu, this cannot be treated as suicide. 
You can think it is suicide, not suicide. Even, can, even freedom fighter, especially from Bharat, I am not speaking for any country. Freedom fighter, even freedom fighter, especially those who are from Bharat, because Bharat, India is the land of spiritual cultivation. Those sages, after long deliberation, have given immense treasure of knowledge where all the avatar of Bhagavan took birth. And that's why I like to speak this. Special for all country may be applicable, more or less. If some freedom, freedom fighter going to leave body for motherland, if some freedom, freedom fighter going to leave body for motherland, so somebody asking me, he can take the uh, form of ghost? I am saying no. He cannot. He can get the uh, form of ghost because he is killed. No. Because he wanted to leave, leave body for motherland, he has some target with this. Like our Khudiram, one boy of 16 or 18 years from, from, from Midnapur. He was a freedom fighter. In, you know, fighting for liberation. That time he was given order by British government. He was given punishment, Khudiram. He was given punishment by, by British government. He should be hanged to death. So when he is standing on the altar, there is one, there is one wooden structure. He is standing and the rope is hanging, rope. And the man coming to put the rope here. But before that, he is standing on the pyre, where they can, they can take out and the body can hang. There is hole. So he is standing and with joyful mood singing about Bharat Mata. That song is very, from our childhood we are hearing. Very important song. He is love, he is enjoying, with enjoying mood before death. He, with enjoying mood, he is going to glorify. Oh mother, you give me permission. I am going to leave this body again, I can come to you. Well, how nice song. The small boy, 18 years, going to sacrifice the British government. In the pyre he is standing over the rope. So do you think he can become ghost because he was given? Has some idealism. Those who are having no idealism, a very dirty reason, going to leave body, they can become ghost. They are not. And surely not here in this case. Surely not here in this case. But this is the case of the devotee. Choto Haridas is a, used to serve Mahaprabhu. Maybe he has done some mistake. What mistake? That I can discuss after. So, gone to the confluence of Sri Riva, Ganga, Jamuna, Swaraswati. And after that, when you think the lotus feet of Gauranga, Golden and going to jump in the middle of Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati and leave the body. Left body. Mahaprabhu knowing everything. He is sitting inside her. After some day, Mahaprabhu was speaking, What? Eh? You know anything about the whereabout of? You know anything about the whereabout of Chaturidas? Then devotee is speaking, Prabhu. You are not giving darshan for one year. After that, he gone away, gone away to Tiveni Shangam with the determination, with the determination to, with the determination to get your seva. By thinking or lotus feet, he left body in the middle of Mahaprabhu laughing. This should be the punishment. This should be the appropriate punishment of a brahmachari and sannyasi, if after taking sannyasi and brahmachari, red cloth and sannyasi, everything, those who are having some desire of kamini kanchan, ah, proper heaven. Everybody is stunned. What Mahaprabhu is speaking? See, Mahaprabhu knows everything. After he left body, after some days, Mahaprabhu, hey, what, you know anything about the whereabout of uh, Chaturidas? Yes, Prabhu, we know. We have information. What? It's appropriate punishment. 
how strict Mahaprabhu is and what is the situation at present. If you think you can spit, how strict the situation was, how, what, is the, what was the standard that time? What was the standard that time? And what is the situation? You can spit on that. But still whole world, naked dance going on in the name of bhajan. Naked dance. We are doing Hari Bhajan. We will have to follow the standard shown by Gauranga Mahal. Only verbally we can discuss about Gauranga. Ah, Gauranga. I am also, you know, in my red clothes, I am doing this. Not that. This is not evident. In true sense, you will have to give, in true sense, you will have to give your heart. Gauranga, you cannot cheat Gauranga. You cannot cheat Vaishnavas, Guru Vaishnavas. They are knowing everything. If you like to cheat, you can get cheated. You cannot cheat them. So, Haridas Chakur was given punishment. After that, whole devotees around Mahaprabhu, they become very careful. They become very careful. All devotees, all around, oh, hundreds of thousands of devotees, very careful about how to Maintain their standard of life. If slight mistake, Mahapu can reject us. What was the mistake? Now question can come. Many people wanted to ask Mahapu, what, what is the mis what, what, what problem? Prabhu, what problem? What problem, Prabhu? What he has done? Prabhu not giving answer. Only one time told, those who are in renounce order, those who are in renounce order, those who are having some Dirty desire to get Kamini Kanchan. My mind is not under my control. I cannot make any compromise. I cannot make any compromise. I cannot see his face. So all the time we must be very careful about it. Now, what problem actually? Nobody knows. But Mahaprabhu knows. Inside, sitting inside. Sitting inside hard, na? So when Choto Harida, <coughs> when Bhagavan, when Bhagavan Das wanted to send, when when Bhagavan Das wanted to send Choto Haridas to Madhubi Devi Dasi, Madhubi Devi Dasi was an old lady, old lady Tapashini, always as sweet and finances, very nice, so great devotee, Madhubi Devi. So surely there was not problem with Madhubi Devi. He he went to bake uh, rice from Madhavi Devidasi. That was a big problem. No. She was an old lady. Very old lady. But there was one maid servant. There was some maid servant. Haridastaku looked at her with some dirty mood. Only, nothing done. Only with dirty mood. So those who are devotee, they should be very careful. Any devotee, those who like to do Krishna bhajan, they must be very man or woman. I am not going to speak as uh, a brahmachari, sannyasi, everybody. They should be very careful. Otherwise, Maya Devi can kick him out or her out of bhajan. Be careful. So, this way, all devotees become very shocked to see this kind of strict mood of Mahaprabhu. Even those devotees used to invite Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu said, no, I cannot take prasadam. Why, Prabhu? I am also going to take prasadam who is having property of one lakh. One lakh rupees not. Lakhapati. Lakhapati, if I translate, it can make no meaning in English. So you try to understand who is having big property like a man with uh, one lakh rupees with that day many billions of dollars at present. Who is rich enough, I am taking prasad. Then the devotee is speaking, we are very poor. We have nothing. Then, okay Prabhu, what to do? We are very poor. So you cannot take prasadam to us. We are very poor. Prabhu speaking, you, do you know? Do you know the meaning of what I mean to say? 
Do you know exact, mean, exact meaning? What Prabhu? We are very poor. Oh, oh, what I mean to say, try to understand. Those who are look, doing one lakh Harinam daily, without any compromise, not that today I am busy, oh, okay, 25,000, oh, tomorrow I can do one lakh, and day after tomorrow, 75, oh, 50. Prabhu saying, those who are doing one lakh Harinam daily, only and only they are very rich men, I am taking prasadam, their house, not with everybody. So you understand? This way, Prabhu very tactfully used to arrange the situation so that they can do bhajan, all of them. In the name of bhajan, I cannot allow anything. I cannot allow anything. If I get two men before my death, two men only, two men is sufficient for me. I cannot increase the number of monkey. I am less interested. So, quality must be there. We cannot make any compromise. We can help. Okay. Weakness is there. Anatta is there. That doesn't mean I can throw out. Because our Guru Bhargava is not speaking. But anyway, I can help them. But they will also help themselves. So that they can come up to this. Follow. So, Mahaprabhu this way wanted to preach among devotees, those who are not doing one like Harinam, I am not going to take prasad. I am not going to take prasad. One like Harinam, everybody must. So then onward, everybody, all devotees started doing one like Harinam. It's a, a standard. All Gauriya devotees, our Guru Varga, they are all Nam Acharya. I can explain tomorrow. Tomorrow, this time, I can explain how they all of our Gauriya Guru Varga, those who are great persons, they all Namacharya. Without being Namacharya, nobody can become Acharya. Then I can explain tomorrow. Today, time is over. Excuse me. So, Niskin Chanasya Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya Parang Parang Jigo Misha Bhavasagarasya Shandar Sanam Vishayana Matho Jashita Nancho Ha Hanto Ha Hanto Bisha Bhakkano Topi Asadu. This sloka also I can explain tomorrow. What Mahapu? I pass away. So many things. Vanchakalpati Rushikapas. This sloka I can explain tomorrow. 